Is, is, it, is it okay like this? Or... Yeah? You have, to, you have to be able with your eyes to, to visualize the music. Tokyo, the National Theatre Tokyo, rehearsing Simon Bocanegra. You have to try to get close to uh, what it feels like to be in the shoes of Simon Bocanegra, yes. What's convincing about this story is that this is a, a man from the people Actually, he was a pirate, he was, so he was not a noble, uh, who did not necessarily want to be a politician. He's just been thrown there. And so he becomes a man uh, confronted with conflict, you know. Everybody disagrees in the, in the parliament of Genoa. Uh, nobody has the same opinion. There are intrigues everywhere. And so he becomes a man of peace. He wants to try to fight for peace. But nobody wants peace, you know? And I think that's a very interesting um, theme for today. I thought this opera could be interesting if an artist proposed something for the set. Usually it's very architectural and very realistic, but I think it's also not a very realistic story. It's a very emotional, strange work, which can take unusual treatment. This particular production, what is exciting is you see Anish Kapoor, the sculptor, and you see Anish Kapoor, the painter. And you see, for instance, in the paintings, a very dramatic artist who creates theater with a two-dimensional image. Anish Kapoor, he does so with a three-dimensional image also, because this volcano, this um, black hole at the end of the opera. They are symbolic images that make us react. They're very dramatic. So yes, abstraction can be theater. If you take a shape and you show it, it can mean nothing to you, or it can be suddenly excite you. Um, it makes you think. The abstraction means it's not always specific, it's more open for the imagination to complete. Of course, by putting a volcano upside down, you're creating something which doesn't exist. So this image cancels the idea of the volcano. And uh, I think this interaction between the, the abstract world of an artist and the concrete world of a piece is something I, I find very exciting to arbitrate, you know, and work with. This volcano is also an image of something that's asleep that can wake up. 
the world is full of volcanoes that were very active, that fell asleep and wake up. And that's not just physical mountains, but they also situations, human situations, political situations. It's about humanity migrating, about modern times changing the world. The world is not peaceful. In 2024, we are openly witnessing war being kind of advertised as necessary, you know, which is a crazy uh, uh, situation. Suffering is necessary. Et après, on va, aller, on va faire okay. le changement dans le temps, pour qu'il puisse répéter le changement en 4 minutes. Ah, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Yeah, but they have to light. Can we have to light in the auditorium out? Hey, Akari, take it off, Kantera. Don't worry, huh? Oh, so let's get yeah, really close. They can be closer to the plastic. Can you ask them to be close to the plastic? Okay, no, see my thing. So let's get closer to the screen. Really close. Yeah, we can do that. No, okay, but look. Keep on going now. Yeah, yeah, you need to mask completely oh, differently. Yeah, 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 no, no, it's not possible. No, we cannot do that. Tu veux ça, Jean? On ouvre le border. Vous pouvez? Well, I'm an autodidact, so I learn as I make. I've learned a lot from this production. Uh, new things that I didn't know. Can a Verdi opera be done with a symbolic set? I tried that once, it failed, because the process of working with the artist was not the right process. Here, I'm, I was able to really take everybody on that journey, and at the same time, learn myself from that journey. So I think when that happens, something exciting happens. And I think that that, you know, you, you, you build from the score, from the opera, you offer a structure that then artists join you to bring life to, and then they have to be part, you, they have to take over that structure because they are the ones on stage that will be projecting the story to the audience, not me. Yeah, I think singers are amazing creatures that they can do all these things, you know. They have to, you know, be aware of the conductor, they have to listen to each other not just in terms of the text, but also in terms of intonation and music when they sing ensembles together. There's a lot of, a lot of factors that they have to take into account. It's, a, it's an incredible métier. The second time you can stay behind this micro yeah, for the second time. Yeah. Yeah, low is better. And then Roberto higher. Do, do I correct for the to stop to correct this? Can we stop? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Merci. I'll come with you. Yeah. Thank you. Merci. Little, little corrections. The thing is, uh, it's too much now, the duetto, duetto, too much looking at Maestro. But the impression should yeah. be that you care for the man, for the man, you know he's dying. So now we have two people singing, of course, duetto music, looking at the conductor. So you, you can come towards him f to offer yourself, yeah? yeah? Like, yeah. offer your, your body to him, yeah? So, yeah, that's better. Yeah, this is good. The singers feel structured, but also free. So, but there's a lot of detail, you know, in the interaction between the singers, which we have to fight for, so that, you know, it doesn't end up being a static production or that people listen to each other, because a lot of the scenes in the opera are conversations. 
So, you know, in a conversation you have to listen to the person in order to answer the person. And in opera you can get carried away with automatic pilot because you, you have an aria, you have a partiture, and you forget that you are in conversation with somebody. The director is there to remind you and to create a situation dramatically on stage which shows the audience what's going on. So you want just the last note? I leave the... No, I, no I, I think the problem is your, your arrival earlier, so you could go... It's just that you, you can't just put on and drop, you know. You have to put on, take a deep breath, and then go. You know what I mean? It's, it's not... It's not convincing if it would no no we're talking millimeter no no millimeter your your thing here you can enjoy opera much more if you prepare yourself if you come to the opera house you read about the opera you read the story, you find out the background of why this opera was written, you will enjoy the evening much more than if you just come and discover it in the hall. This is the antiquarian. Here we go. Which chorus are we doing first? Second, um, yeah. second act. And then yeah. Some people come to the opera simply to listen to beautiful voices and a beautiful orchestra and chorus. Others come for a much richer experience. Uh, they want to understand how the story is told. And others come for the artistic experience. If they hear, for instance, this is um, a production directed by a certain director that they've heard about or designed by a certain designer that they've heard about. There are different entrances to the event. That's what I try in a production to do, to offer the audience enough dramatic connection that they can decide how this story feels like for them. Going to the theater and watching a very simple story can bring us more in touch with an issue than reading the news. Because we are uh, dreaming. We, we go into a world where fantasy and dream starts. The story feels like it's uh, not real. And so in this non-reality, we can hang on to certain things and, and maybe you are helping the person take the story and find a connection with themselves. when somebody participates and shares the emotion and is moved by it, you are doing something to the listener. Um, you are helping the person take the story and find a connection with themselves.
I believe that my mission is also to show that it's an art form for today, and it's an art form that we should care about, we should maintain. And I'm, in my own kind of way, I try to make it matter. That's all I can do. <laughs>